Shalom, shalom, Israel. Most High Christ bless. I'm Captain Yadon, and to my left, I'm also R. A. And today we're doing another episode of 15 Minutes with the Captain. So, with that being said, let's go into the topic. The topic is be wilderness ready. Be wilderness ready. All right. A lot of times you got Israel that's watching online, just finding out you Israel. Sometimes we get people stand up and say. That they knew they were Israel for three months, six months, a year, so on and so forth. Right. So today's class is for you, brothers, all right, you sisters. So with that being said, let's go into Leviticus 23, officer. Leviticus 23 and verse 1. The book of Leviticus, chapter 23, verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them concerning the feasts of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocation, even these are my feasts. So now, when you examine Leviticus 23rd chapter, it goes into uh, the majority of the high holy days that's written in the scriptures. And the Lord commanded us in verse 2, he said, a holy convocation, all right? A lot of you brothers and sisters are watching online. You're watching, you're living in a city that has a school or you're living within a radius of a school. And guess what, brother? Guess what, sister? You need to start congregating. You need to show yourself friendly. You need to make your face known, all right? Because in these last days, we all we got. We're going to go over these things. And it's important in these last days to apply these commandments. Right. Okay, so now, um, let's go to uh, Hebrews chapter 10. You know what I want. Yes. In these last days, when you see Israel growing, you really don't understand how to keep the commandments until you come amongst your brothers and sisters, all right? Because when you watch it from online, watch it from a distance, you can only learn so much. All right. So read what you got. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 25. Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together as the man manner of some is. You see that? That some is, is those separatist brothers or sisters. All right. They call them individual lights. All right. We don't want to be that. All right. You need to start to understand how important it is to rehearse these righteous acts around your brothers and sisters. And you're not going to understand that fully until you come among your brothers and sisters. All right? Come on. But exhorting one another, and so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. You see that? So that's showing you, as we continue to see the day of the Lord approaching closer and closer, we come together more. We fellowship. Whether it's on a fishing trip, whether it's uh, on a high holy day, whether it's a regular seven-day Sabbath, we have to be able to start to come together because this is what the Lord wants us to do, all right? All right. Let's go to Jude 19. Because we spoke about the manner of some is, all right? Israel, you don't want to be that, that some, all right? You want to be those brothers and sisters that is exhorting one another even the more as the day is approaching the day of the Lord approaching all right read what you got officer the book of Jude chapter 19 these be they who separate themselves you see that the Lord said these be they that separate themselves why would a person separate themselves we, we one minute we feast in and uh, having high holy days and all of a sudden a person says I don't want to do this anymore or all of a sudden, a brother or sister is watching online, and they say, I'm nervous. I don't want to, uh, I don't feel like going to congregate because I'm tired, or whatever mm -hmm. case. No, the Lord said, this is your family. You, right. must, uh, you must come together in these last days. Read that part again. Verse 19. These be they who separate themselves. Sensual. Having not the spirit. You see that? The Lord said, having not the spirit. So we have to get it right, Israel. All right? We have to get it right. Let's go to Judges 5 and 11. Judges 5 and 11. Let's go there. All right? Because in these last days when you examine the Bible, the Lord speaks very, very clear about what we need to do to get the kingdom. 
and it's rehearsing the righteous acts. All right. right, come on. The book of Judges, chapter 5, verse 11. They that are delivered from the noise of the archers in the places of drawing water, mm -hmm. there shall they rehearse the righteous acts mm -hmm. of the Lord. You see that what the Bible says? Rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Rehearsing the righteous acts. If you look into the definition of rehearsal, it's a, a acting or a performing of an action getting ready for the main performance, all mm -hmm. right? And the main performance is going to go into us being in the wilderness, all right? Because that's when the grace is going to be up, all right? The grace is going to be up at that point. We have to get serious, all right? And the way we get serious is rehearsing the righteous acts. You got to ask yourself, Israel, what are we going to be rehearsing? What are you talking about, Captain? What are you talking about? We rehearsing going through situations. Let's go to Luke 17 and 1. How are you going to know how to forgive a brother or sister? Or how are you going to know how to react when a situation arises if you've never been in that situation? Read what you got. The book of Luke, chapter 17, verse 1. Then said he unto the disciples, it is possible. It is impossible. Read it right. Come on. It is impossible but that offenses will come. You see that? But offenses will come. Offenses will come. What does that mean? A brother, a sister in the body will have issues. They will run into situations. The Lord wants you to run into those situations so you can apply the commandments. The Lord wants you to see judgment in Israel so you can know that judgment is coming. Right. The Lord wants you to see brothers and sisters go through certain issues and, the wit and you witnessing them and you witnessing certain judgments and so forth so you could go through them. Read it. Continue. But woe unto him through whom they come. You see that? To woe unto him to whom they come. Meaning what? We shouldn't come into the body seeking to offend brothers and sisters because it's hard to win them over, all right? So now, let's go to uh, Matthew 18, all right? Matthew 18, and you know what I want. One of the major things that Israel does not know how to apply. And if you're, if you're at home and you're not congregating, you're not going to know how to apply this. 15. The book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 15. Moreover, if thy brother shall transgress against thee. Thy brother shall trespass against thee. Come on. Go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. You see that? It says, go and tell him that his fault between him and thee alone. So how are you going to do that from online? Are you going to apply Matthew 18 through a keyboard? Are you going to Skype the brother that you don't even know? You never met him in person and apply Matthew 18? No. You're not going to be able to do it. That's why in these last days the Lord wants us to come together. Come on. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. That's the whole point of Matthew 18. The Lord wants us to gain our brother. And like I mentioned earlier, you certain situations are going to arise in the congregation and you must witness them. That's why you see when you read verse 16, verse 17, it goes into those certain things where uh, certain situations will arise in the congregation and we must go through them. Sometimes a brother or sister can come in and they get in a, a, situ a judgment might come and they're like, oh, I'm afraid, sister, brother. In the wilderness, it's going to be real judgment. Right. That's exactly why we have to focus, all right? So now, with that being said, let's go to um, Sirach 28, verse 1. Sirach chapter 28, verse 1. Read that. The book of Sirach chapter 28, verse 1. He that revenge it shall find vengeance from the law. You see that? The Bible says, he that revenges shall find vengeance from the Lord. Come on. And he will surely keep his sins 
in remembrance. You see that the Lord will always remember that brother or sister's sins that looks for revenge. What is that going into? An offense. Come right. on. Forgive thy neighbor the hurt that he have done unto thee. You see what's so hard for Israel to do? Forgive thy neighbor the hurt that he have done unto thee. Come on. So shall thy sins also be forgiven when thy prayest. You see that? The Lord said, so shall your sins be forgiven when you pray. So that's why it's so important. How are you going to know how to be in, how to deal with a situation when uh, you have an offense with a brother or sister and you have to apply the scripture when it's, the Lord said, forgive thy neighbor. All right. How are you going to be able to, when you read in the book of Acts uh, 4, 2 through 4, two, uh, second chapter through the fourth chapter, dealing with how they was coming together on one accord and being able to have all things in common and helping one another. How are you going to be able to accomplish these things if you're sitting at home? Right. What if you're in need of help? How are you going to be able to get that help if you're sitting at home? All right. So now let's go to... Um, uh, 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 3. All right. Um, in these last days, I can't reiterate that enough because we're in the last days. We have to understand how to execute the commandments and not be that brother or sister that is really about um, talking a good game. All mm -hmm. right. We have to execute this. All right. Read what you got. The book of 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 3. Talk no more exceedingly proudly. Let not arrogance come out of your mouth. You see that? The Lord said, let not arrogancy come out of thy mouth. Come on. For the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. You see that? And by him actions are weighed. So what does that mean? The Lord don't want to hear your lip service. Right. The Lord don't want to see you at the camp and saying, oh, I'm going to come, I'm going to come. Or the Lord don't want to hear you uh, why, when he put it in your spirit on Saturday morning to get up and he put it in your spirit say, you know what, let me get up and go to the Sabbath. The Lord don't want to hear about some next episode of Netflix you want to watch. Right. All right. The Lord is not looking for that. The Lord does not like excuses. He wants to see you to be about action. All right. Let's go to uh, Ezekiel 20 and 34. Because as we continue to grow in this faith, there's a big job ahead, all right? There's a big job ahead, and we must accomplish it. And that's going through the motions of these commandments. That's the only way you're going to get good at it, all right? Why do you think a boxer trains? Or all these different skill sets are set in when it comes to training, all right? Read what you got. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 20, verse 34. And I will bring you out from the people. And will gather you out of the countries wherein ye are scattered. So that's us being delivered. Come on. With a mighty hand and with a stretch it out arm and with fury poured out. And I will bring you into the wilderness of the people and there will I plead with you face to face. So the Lord's going to teach us all over again. Make sure that we are one accord. Come on. Like as I plead with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Egypt, so will I plead with you, said the Lord God. Come on. And I will cause you to pass under the rod, and I will bring you into the bond, bond of the covenant. Come on. And I will purge out from among you the rebels. You know what's so heavy about the Lord purging out the rebels among us? A lot of those rebels know they Israel, but they not gonna they don't know right now how to apply the commandments. Right. So when they get into the wilderness, they don't know how to rehearse Matthew 18. They don't know how to rehearse being patient with one another. They don't know how to rehearse forgiving one another. They don't know how to rehearse having things in common and sharing and not being selfish. All right? They don't know. So that's why a lot of people that don't find themselves fellowshipping is going to die. Read it. Continue reading. And them that transgress against me, I will bring them forth out of the country where they shall join, and they shall not enter into the land of Israel, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. 
You see that? So the Lord is letting us know it's very, very important that we learn how to rehearse these righteous acts. All right. And so with that, that's the uh, we say Shalom. Shalom. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.